Greetings Photoshoppers. Today I'm going to show you how to use the Gradient Tool for Photoshop CS5. The Gradient Tool is a very useful and powerful tool for graphic design and photo manipulation. Basically, it creates an effect that is similar to, say, a sunset, with layers of colors that change over the course of the image. Here's a quick example. Uses can range from artistic effects like simulating a sunset, to something more practical like creating space on an image for text. To access the tool, click and hold on the Paint Bucket button in the toolbar, then drag down to the Gradient option. To use, simply click and drag across the canvas to create the gradient effect. Now let's say you want to change your colors. There are a couple of ways to do that. The first is to double click the background and foreground colors at the bottom of the toolbar and change them to what you want. The second is to double click inside the gradient option at the top options panel. Double click on the little button on the lower left or right corner to change the colors. On the top corners, you can change the level of opaque and transparency. You will also notice that you have presets. These will be your best friends as some of them make use of transparent gradients. Also at the top options panel are gradient shape options. They can range from creating a circle to a diamond to other shapes that are both simple and unique. Like many other tools, you have composition options that can help with the manipulation of your image. Give each of these a try to see what they can do. Opacity determines the transparency of your gradient. Reverse will switch out the direction your colors are going. Dither will help blur the different colors that are banding together, making a more natural transition. And transparency will turn on or off the transparency of your gradient. Just as a quick example, I have separated this image into layers. Click on one of the lower layers and add a gradient. As you can see, the tool has potential to do all kinds of things. Try it with different layers of color, line, and shape, and you can create some awesome graphic design. Thanks for watching. You can send any questions or requests about Photoshop to requests at mahalo.com, and please be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe below.